to God be the glory. He turned it. New music from Todd Tribbett. Before Todd Tribbett, Nancy Jackson Johnson with I'm Free. Before I'm Free, John K. Brown, Three Kings. Y'all like that, that version of Three Kings, don't you? Yeah, I do too. You're listening to Real Gospel. I'm the X-Man, your radio minister of music. He turned it. Ty, who learned how to play keyboards before he could recite the alphabet, has been making bold declarations with his music for years prior to launching launching his gospel career. In 1996, Ty founded a gospel choir, Greater Anointing, GA, consisting of a group of family and friends whose hearts were uh, simply set on praising the creator through the gift of music. Ty knew from the beginning they tapped into something real special and glorious. The first rehearsal blew my mind, he says. The music ship, the quality of the voices, and the spirit of the choir, the character of everybody. I knew that's this I knew that we had, were on to something special. I'm sorry, Tom, just trying to trying to set you up for a nice intro, man. But uh, nonetheless, the no one and only Tom. I love Trip. it, I love it, I love it. Yeah. Hey, hi, welcome to Real Gospel, my friend. Thank you so much, and thank you for such a beautiful intro, man. Hey, I'm just trying. The new CD project is called Greater Than Van, and you've had so much success over the years. Um, tell the listeners just a little bit about your beginnings and how you got started in the music industry. Oh, man, you got it. You, got, you just said it all, man. Church boy, my dad was a pastor, so I was always, uh, you know, in church, and I was playing the keys and the organ and sometimes even the drums at the church. When you're a PK, you got to do a little bit of it all. You got to clean the toilet, paint the walls and play the music and sing so i did it all and uh that kind of just evolved to what you see today man amen amen and a lot of people know you well i came to know you through the song victory and you've had a string of other hits before that but victory and then um uh, you did the song uh the the the, the late the latest smash of course is if he did it before same god uh and now we've got um uh he turned it and he turned it you know, your your music seems to have this orchestra sound, yet choir sound slash director <laughs> sound. Explain your sound. It's, it's very it's, it's phenomenal. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I call it just kingdom music. I don't, I don't know what category to put it in. I think you were right on point. It's very theatrical, and then it could be very, like, just down-home churchy, and then it could be very or- orchestral and classical. And, uh, and we're not just talking about one song. We're not even talking about the whole album yet, so. I'm inspired by all music, and I think uh, the kingdom should ha- should have, you know, every every type of music represented towards the king. Every every type of music, every style, every sound should be in the kingdom. So that's why I call it kingdom music. Amen. You know, there's something in particular that you talked about in your beginnings. You were gracing the stage with some some pretty hard hitters as far as uh, secular music is concerned. I mean, you did some things with with country music artists. You did some things with uh, with uh, let me see, like Luther Vandross and R and B, uh, Elton John, uh, Jill Scott. Um, talk to talk to us about that process where uh, God uh, uh, allowed you. And your uh, your fellow ministers to 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 fast and to pray and then to how 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 did that transformation come about from secular into gospel? Can you share that with us? Well, I never left gospel, <laughs> um, but other uh, well, other opportunities uh, came. We were excited to try. We we had a uh, Prince of Egypt movie that that movie the prince of egypt movie yes. was um it was an animated story about the life of moses and we were on the soundtrack so we were put in the presence and in the company and in the same venues as mainstream artists because we were on a major movie soundtrack that faith hill was on whitney houston was on uh, mariah carey was on all these heavy hitters were on the same uh movie soundtrack so we were exposed to them, and they were exposed to us. So some of them just really loved us and asked us to be a part of some things they were doing. Like Faith Hill wanted us to be a part of her tour, and we was like, okay, we checked out the music. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing offensive or compromising to our faith. Matter of fact, she's a believer herself, and we were like, let's go. So we did that, and now we're doing for this, and now we're doing for this. We was going, 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 going. Uh, to me, personally, I don't know if anybody else in the crew would say this, to me personally, it started growing and growing, and then as the culture grew more in hip-hop, 
we started doing more hip hop stuff. Like it wasn't crazy stuff, but like I don't know stuff for Timberland. We did uh, I don't know, and as that grew, I think the Lord challenged us at that point before we got quote unquote too deep in it, or I got too deep. He challenged me to come out of all secular music for one year. He said, Ty, I want you to try me for one year and don't do any mainstream music. Just do all kingdom music. And that's the first time I heard kingdom music. I was like, what is kingdom music? I heard the Lord say that. And uh, when, when we did that, we came out for well, I came out. I said, let's stop doing it. And that's the year we did Victory. We recorded Victory. And uh, I never had to go back to mainstream music. Uh, from there to work, you know what I mean, for money, for, for anything like that. I never had to. I kept the relationships. I still have great relationships with all of them now. But uh, I never had to go back and work because God provided Amen. That is a tremendous testimony. And thank you for yeah. clarifying that and, and setting the record straight uh, for people who may have yeah. seen the, uh, the, the the movie or heard the projects. And, and, and talk about being able to, um, I know that you're a father, you're a husband, songwriter, producer, preacher, and businessman. How how do you uh, walk in all those hats? What's the day in the life of Ty Tribbett? How do you um, uh, handle all those different hats, but yet still remain uh, as humble as you do? Well, you got people. <laughs> You got people in your in your in your circle, like you know, like Kevin Hart. His movie just came out. He talked about yes. how most of his staff is like his associates from, you know, from who knew him before he was who he is now. And once you get off the stage with all the lights and the people screaming, to get in the circle of people uh, uh, who are who are not jaded, quote unquote, by the lights and the stage, getting a, getting a circle of people who keep you accountable, getting a circle of people who make sure you remain balanced and uh, who just don't view you that way. Now, it, it, it worked It worked uh, against them in the Bible. When Jesus came back to his hometown, they just called him as the carpenter's son. So he couldn't do great miracles because they really didn't believe that he was the Messiah. But for us, we're not the Messiah, so it's good for us <laughs> to come back home <laughs> yeah. and they view us as the carpenter's son. Because <laughs> it, it keeps us humble and it keeps us alone. So I think the circles you keep, the close circles you keep, keep you accountable and keep you humble and keep you balanced. Amen. Amen. So yeah. are there are there any movies in the works for Ty Tribbett? What's, what's going on? Any movie roles? Hey man, I just did a small part in a movie called Holiday Love. It was uh, produced by Kim Fields of Tyler Perry Studios, and it'll be out, I guess, uh, from uh, and I don't know if it's a holiday movie, and I don't know if it's going to be on TV One or something like that. But be looking out for that. It's called Holiday Love. I did a small part on there. I want to continue, of course, to do movies and even theater and stuff like that. That'll be great. Amen. So now this CD project, of course, greater than what can we expect? What more can we expect on this project? I mean, uh, we've already we're up to the second single and I know that the CD is doing well, extremely well. So talk to us about a little bit more. What, what can we expect on greater than? Greater than we're going to have. Uh, uh, we have like three tours on the table for next year. And that's a great problem. I was telling my staff, this is a great problem. And God is just so gracious to me in the season. And his love is just over, overwhelming. And this makes you want to serve him more and more intense. Um, so we have three tours on the, on the table right now for, for next year. And we're trying to just figure out which one or which two. <laughs> or if we can even do all three make, make sense. You know what I mean? So uh, be looking out for the Greater Than Tour. We're just going to continue to spread, you know, the gospel with, with excellence and with the anointing. Amen. So I guess uh, last and, and, and foremost, what advice can you give individuals who are maybe serving as producers slash um, mm -hmm. record reps or people who are wanting to um, do what you do? There are a lot of people who, I'm not I'm not saying that they're imitating or copying, but they're wearing those hats. Mm -hmm. They're, 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 mm -hmm. Um, they're the directors of their of their ministries of music. They have individual projects that they want to do, and they're sort of doing what you what you do. What advice can you give people in the music business who are also in church and things of that nature? Well, first of all, I would challenge everyone 
to redefine, redefine success as obedience. Um, instead of this reality TV, superstardom, you know, commercialism world we live in where success is defined as, you know, if you're on, I don't know, you see me on TV, yo, Ty, you doing it, man, you doing it. Well, you, well I was out on TV, I was missing service at my local church where you are singing so you're doing it to me <laughs> just serving the local so redefine success as obedience whatever God tells me to do when I do it that's successful period so I think that's number one and number two I think a lot of people are very creative and very energetic and just very I mean just savvy in the field of technical things and that's great we got a lot of creativity we got a lot of this next generation coming up we got it but we don't have humility and we don't have wisdom I just pray that we will seek those two things and that will make our our journey um, that much more impactful hum humility which is your right the right perspective of who you are uh, and wisdom, get under somebody, get under a mentor, let somebody, you know what I mean, hear some of your ideas and, and listen to some of their ideas. Be around people where you can grow and not just people that think you're just so amazing and awesome. Get off of your, get off of your Instagram page and stop believing your own hype. And you know what I mean? We're just celebrities on our own pages. But man, get around some people that'll help grow you in the things of the Lord and expand you and challenge you to be a better man, a better woman, a better husband, a better father, a better Christian, period. And then we'll have more fulfilling lives, fulfilling lives. Because even if you get what you're going so hard after, it doesn't mean you'll be fulfilled. I'd rather have less and be fulfilled than have all of my dreams and be empty. Amen. The one and only Todd yeah. Tribbett. I've got two last questions for you, my friend. Uh, what church do you attend? What city? What time of the services? And how can your fans <laughs> and people reach you? Yes, sir. And how can you what? And how can your fans, how can we reach you? Okay. Well, number one, I attend Kingdom Church. <clears throat> Well, when I'm home, I've been, you know, out, uh, I've been out, what's the word? A lot now, but That's anyway, it, yeah. uh, Kingdom Church in Ewing, New Jersey. I forget the, the address right now, but y'all can look it up. Pastor Darius Daniels, amazing, amazing uh, orator of the Word of God. I love him. That's also my mentor as well. Hey, and you can reach me on com or just Twitter. Uh, Facebook, social cam, all that stuff. Just time tribute. So go check it out and, uh, yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Amen. Uh, the CD project is called Greater Than, and my brother, my good friend, Ty Tribbett, it's been a pleasure having you on Real Gospel. Thank you so much.